Hi guys, so I'm with April. I mean, <laughs> start again. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's April and I'm with Belinda. Hi. Not April, Belinda. <laughs> oh, save me. <laughs> Come on then. Today is the 2nd of January 2016, Not meaning it is our anniversary. We have been together for one year. Woohoo! It does sound enthusiastic <laughs> about it. I'm enthusiastic. It's too early. Oh, Too early? It's like 20 past 11. Okay, then I'm too tired because we've only just got up. <laughs> right, we're lazy. Anyway, anyway, today we thought as an anniversary special we would tell you guys about the story of April and Belinda. In other words, <sighs> us being together, okay, and getting together. It's a bit of a long, unique story. Okay. And, you mm. know felt like telling you a story. I love you. Right, so let's begin. So we met at college back in what year? It's like two years ago. 2014. 2014. Um, so September. No, it wasn't. It was September. I thought we had those days in August. Very late August, like the last few days of August. Fair enough. Okay, there was like a little um thing where um. There was like a little event held a couple of days before we were supposed to start college um, for all the people with like problems kind of so we could all come early to get to know each other and get to know the building and without them um, being everyone else yeah without them being loads of people there scary so um True. we both went there and we both met each other there I hated her she hated me didn't you yeah not sure I hate but um, disliked yeah. strongly, yeah. disliked each other. Don't know why we hadn't really spoken properly, had we? No. Just didn't like each other that much. <laughs> Do you want to take it from here? Um. You went. You went off with Fiona. I was on my. Oh shit. Okay, you went off with someone. And I was on my own. What's wrong with saying I hung out with Fiona? I don't know. I didn't think you wanted that on camera. Yeah, but she's been in like a thousand of my vlogs. Fair enough. I think we're at the point where she really doesn't give two shits. Fair enough. You know my friend Fiona? That sounds bad. We were friends and we hung out that entire day together. And I was yeah. on my own all day. And I ditched Belinda because I didn't like her. <laughs> I didn't tag along because I thought, you're popular, you won't want someone like me hanging out with you. I've never been popular in my entire life. I it's just, just the way you came across the first day. Because I'm you kept opinionating. Yeah, you kept giving opinion and talking as if you knew everything. And later to find out that's just a trait of mine. I always do that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So anyway, shall I continue? Okay. After that, um, we we ended up with the same friendship group at college because since we'd met on them two days, that in most like half of that group started hanging out. Um, together and we just ended up kind of clicking along with them because they were the only people we both knew okay and then after a while we realized we are the only two people in our friendship group have the exact same free period yeah. so whenever we have a gap in our timetable we both have that same exact same yeah. gap and we're in the same end up in the same room just on the computers yeah so mm. we just ended up hanging yeah. out and chatting and things we ended up good friends and then um we started uh, talking because you asked if i wanted to go to, in town with you because i was the only one that was there yeah because i wanted to make conversation and i wanted to go have a mcdonald's because i'm a fat fucker i'm no good at conversations so unless um, i know people i dragged belinda like, along yeah. to mcdonald's yeah yep and we're walking down the street and talking about random things i don't even remember so um that went on for a period of time we would always go down like at least once a week to McDonald's or go into town and get yeah. get food from bakery or something like that. And yeah, that happened for a long time until um, it was a couple of days before my birthday. No, it was the day before my birthday because I remember that was when I went to the Coronation Street tour. Yeah. And I was sleeping over in a hotel and we were, oh, we were yeah. texting on phone because we always used to text each yeah. other. Used to. We still do. <laughs> we still do. Anyway, and we were talking about things and Belinda was like... I'd always presumed she was straight and Belinda just texted me and she was 
and it was quite late at night and she was like um, asking me all these questions it was a bit weird and then she asked me well how do I feel about gay people because you're really like, opinionated I thought you'd hate them I thought you'd have all these opinion opinions about how much you hate them and how wrong it is I was completely wrong about that <laughs> clearly you were, very, you were very wrong about that clearly so um I was like well what do you say to that they're all right the people what do I think about people? People are cool. So, ish. <laughs> <laughs> that was how that conversation went and then nothing was said about it until like a couple of days after your birthday. When, um, yeah, it was a couple of days after your birthday and we were video chatting and then we went off cam and we were talking because it was late at night and my parents had just, and my parents had gone on holiday so I was staying at my parents' friend's house. Mm-hmm. And um, my and me and Belinda were just talking and um, and on um, Facebook and she said um, something like, what did you say? You, to- you told me that you were gay in yeah. some sort of strange way and um, explained me to hate it and you were like clearly prepared to cut off our friendship. Yeah, because I thought you'd disown me. <laughs> you said it in such a way though, you were like, right, bye. I was like, I oh, scared. same. But I hadn't told anyone, so I was like, oh, cool. This is a coming out video, this, isn't it? Pretty much. Oh, well. So I was like, oh, cool, same, but don't tell anyone. And we just hit it off from there, and we kept, we kept talking about gayness a lot. Yeah, but, making jokes with yeah. each other. And um, we, we, we talked a lot more. We ended up much closer friends since then. Yeah. And um, that's how that was. Well, you're the only one I could talk about cute girls with. <laughs> that was cringy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be funny, but it was a bit cringy. Fair enough. As long as you don't go around now going, no, that no. girl's fit, that girl's fit. So, anyway, that all happened. And then, um, I say, um, a lot. Drinking game. Every time I stuff to it and go, um, Take a drink, take a shot, even. After a while, we um, we were very good friends, and then I've got the dates on my phone. Is that really bad? Is that really, really Ish. bad? Okay. This is where everything gets complicated. Yeah. So hold on to your hats. Don't worry, I won't say anything bad. I don't mind if you do. My phone's fucked up. If oh. you can see. No. Right. So then came the 20th of February okay so this wasn't even a month after we'd been talking about being gay I don't know. this was like a week or two after yeah. um, we were hanging out together and we were talking about how lonely we are <laughs> and we were like do you want a date? no you're not going to do role play? okay she was like, oh, yeah, I'll go out I don't with remember you. doing that. So, yeah, well, actually, when they were around, you said to me, do you want to go out? I was like, yeah, okay. So, um, we dated a bit. After, what is it, two weeks? Yeah, I think that's two weeks, isn't it? 20th <laughs> of February till 3rd of March. Oh. We were dating, and then we were, like, 2015, and then we were like, fuck this. Sick you, let's break up. So we did. And then we, we went... We just arguing all the time, weren't we? Yeah, we always argued, we argued every day. So we was, it was like, fuck this, let's break up. And um, so then we broke up and we kind of stopped talking for a while and then we became best friends again, but we weren't quite the same as we was before, mm-hmm. were we? So that continued and we just went along like that. And then um, the 7th of May rolled around until, and then we started dating until the 11th of September, okay? Um, a few personal things happened then. We were really good, we were really close. You know, we, we had that time to kind of get to know each other mm. a bit better. It did wonders for us and we realised yeah. we loved each other. Yeah. And, but then, so then we started dating again, but them dates, um, between them dates, something personal happened that I'm not allowed to talk about because it involves, it doesn't just involve us, it involves quite a lot of people. Mm. So um, I can't quite disclose that information to you yet, but, Something big happened in our lives that kind of changed everything and we just 
had to break up. There was no going forward at this point. We were like, mm. right, we'll have to break up. If we get back it together in the future, then great, but we can't continue this. So it was quite serious. <laughs> so um, that happened and we broke up. So we're still friends though. We're yeah. still talking friends. We're still friends. So, so May till 11th September, that's We've the always been friends, after, even when we've broken up. Then we realised, and then time passed, we were still best friends. Things got and, better. Yeah, things have got a lot better, and then mm. we arranged a date on the... On the 8th of December, but um, we argued, so it lasted one day. And then... I got scared of my life. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. So we, so we dated in the morning, and then it ended in the evening. <laughs> And then, um, I think we just went about it the wrong way, so we ended up arguing. Probably did. We should have probably spoke about it first rather than just saying she would help you. Because <laughs> of everything that happened. We're terrible at dating each other. Yeah. <laughs> and then, do you remember Kieran, guys? Okay, so in oh, December. Oh, that's interesting. I was like, right, I'm sick of this. I can't stay with Belinda, clearly. Um, can't keep waiting for her. <laughs> no offence. fine. So, I'll just find someone new. Brilliant idea. So, do you remember Kieran for, from last year's vlogs and um, vlogmas? I met him on Tinder. Because I decided to join Tinder, I met him. We hung out quite a lot. We started dating, it was cool. We had a very good relationship, apart from he was a bit controlling and a bit abusive. But, if any, if Kieran or any of his um, family are watching this, or friends, I'm very sorry. You know, I bet he's lovely now, I bet he's changed, or I bet he was just like that towards me. But either way, couldn't stay in that relationship. It lasted all like two, three weeks. And then, you know, it lasted until the 2nd of January. So a year ago today, I woke up and I was like, I don't want to be with Kieran anymore. I don't like him that much. Mm. I want to be with Belinda. Okay, she's the one that I've always wanted. She's the one who I want to stay with. And no matter how hard things get, I want to be yeah. with her. I wanted to be with you, but I thought, well, you're with Kieran, so at the point, might as well just let go. Then mm. by trying to get back with you with Kieran. So anyway, she felt the same. Yeah. I love you. You. Yeah. Now crying all the time, you were, every time you said you were with Kieran. Yeah, she always now used to cry. Went off webcam when you were with him. I couldn't go with you being with him. You're not me. Oh. Even though you and messed it up. You look like you're gonna cry. No. I woke up and said I don't want to be with him anymore, so I texted him saying we're breaking up. Because <laughs> I'm horrible and I just didn't want to speak to him at all. That night, Belinda was supposed to sleep at my house, but I had denied him with my parents. So Belinda said you can sleep at my house in instead of me coming to yours. Okay. So, um, and we were just arranged to hang out with friends. And um, this was also the first time we'd seen each other after after Christmas, so this was when we were going to give each other our Christmas presents. And uh, get into her house for fuck's sakes. I ran to the bus stop and smashed my phone up to like smithereens. It was I just missed gone. your bus. And I missed the bus. By was... that this time it got to evening, hadn't it? Yeah. So, so I was, there was busy no during the day, so it couldn't come till late. And there was no other bus available. So I was like, I could cancel it, but I want to be back with Belinda. It's really important to me. I was really desperate to get to her just to tell her I love her. So um, I ordered a taxi, but me and Belinda have a bit of a long distance relationship. So to get to her house via taxi is what, like £40? 35 yeah, to £40. Pound. Yeah. So £40 pound to get to her house, just one way. So. I just ordered it anyway, I was like, fuck it, I don't care, I'll, I'll pay it, it's all the money I have, I'll pay it. So I got the taxi, got to Belinda's, we exchanged presents, I opened mine, what does it say? Oh, it's a coaster to put my cups of tea on, how cute, what does it say, what's the beautiful message it read? Special friend. Special friend. I was like, friends earned. So well, I couldn't really get anything else. You were with Kieran. I told you that morning I'd broken up with him. Yeah, but I'd already bought it. Fair enough. So, um, what, it before Christmas? That happened. And then once her entire family went to bed, me and Belinda slept in the living room because it's bigger. And We'd been she... out for an Indian. Oh, did we? Yeah. We went out for an Indian. We went out somewhere for food. I remember that. Oh, yeah, we it was went probably the Indian. I'll call them on my back. 
Can you tell I remember things? You remember more than I do. We can't have... Oh, no. We can't have got any alcohol when we're back. We weren't 18. <laughs> this, oh. You're thinking of a wrong, the wrong day. <laughs> Probably. On, on, on every single month of our anniversary, we've gone to India and got alcohol when we're back. But not this time, because we were oh. only 17. But didn't we have it in the Indian anyway? We're probably, yeah, we're actually, we're probably drunk in the Indian. Yeah, I because you're it. allowed to have a um, drink if you're having a meal. And we went to Indian, didn't we? Yeah. Came back and we got ready for bed. And we started talking. And I explained to her how I want her back. And she was like, Yeah. <laughs> no, I said, I said, we were spoke about it. I wanted to, but we were speaking about it because of everything that happened and how many times we broke up. We're saying we really want to, but was it the right thing to do? Was it not the right thing to do? And I responded with, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you weren't, You didn't want to start with. No, I kind of like was swapping and changing my mind because I, want, because I love her so much and I want to be with her. But at the same time, I couldn't keep dealing with the constant breakups yeah, and no. mood swings. I understand. Because our bloody relationship was a roller coaster. Yeah. So I understand you wanted to, but you didn't want to go through all that again. So we ended up coming to the conclusion. Let's let's give it a week. Let's date for a week, see how it goes. And if it's alright, continue. Talk about it after a week. Yeah. We haven't broken up since. Our oh, relationships have been a lot more sturdy since yeah. and guaranteed we do have arguments and we yeah, do but have every couple has arguments. We have our ups and downs. So does everyone. But they're never too bad are they? No, always we always make up, up uh, within the few, like ten minutes. And in serious, we never seem to argue about when we actually talk about it properly. Yeah. It's only stupid things like we argue mature about. adults. Yeah. And we only argue about stupid things and then we're back together within like an hour. Yeah. So, yeah. It's been good since then. 2nd of January 2015. Yeah. And that 2nd of January 2016. Oh. So we've been together yeah. one year. Oh, and I could never be without you now. Mm. Neither could I. I love you. I love you more. It's the best relationship ever. Agreed. You mean the world to me, Sam? No, oh, I love you. I love you more. Well. I'm in a good relationship now. Yeah. So anyway, that's our story. Yeah. And so far. As they say, true love makes it work. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's so cute. You'd love each other and make it work, that's what we did. Or if you love each other, say each other free bye. <laughs> bye then. Let's try again in the year. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe next year we'll make up to two years. <laughs> right, so thank you very much for watching guys. Please like the video if we think if you think we're cute or if you don't think we're cute or if you like pro, the video. <laughs> yeah, like the video if you're pro homos or anti homo sexual. Comment what you think in the comment below to our story. Yeah. Comment below if you'd like to see Belinda again in another video. Like the video if you'd like to see Belinda in another video. Or if you want to hear more of our stories. If you, if I want to, if if this video gets to a million likes, I will shave Belinda's hair off. You will not. That's why it's a million viewers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will never shave. Let us know if you want more of our stories. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching Thanks. guys. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.